Oh boy. Did not realize how much this is. How much work this is gonna be. Hey, so recently I've been super bored with the foods I've been eating. I've been on a cut for a long time, like 10 weeks or 12 weeks, something like that. And I've been eating beef and rice for like all of my meals. So I found this on TikTok, this like little high protein hot pocket. It has like turkey bacon and eggs and stuff in it. So I am going to attempt to make it, but disclaimer, I am very bad at cooking. So we will see if it's very um, user friendly for those that are not too great in the kitchen. It's gonna take me a minute to find this thing. So I don't know where our file oh, right here. Baking powder. Where is it? Nope. So I finally found all the ingredients. You need flour, plain Greek yogurt, not vanilla, baking powder, not baking soda, bacon, I chose turkey bacon, some type of like low fat or fat free cheese if you want it to be higher protein and eggs. You can also use egg whites. I don't really like egg whites that much. So I'm just gonna use regular eggs. Okay, so I need a pan. Most of my pans are in the dishwasher. We are going to use this giant pan. You need a spatula, spatula. Ooh, a cutting board and we need a knife. Oh geez, oh geez, okay. Okay, now we need our bacon. So in the video, he cuts the, how what the heck? He cuts the bacon up really small. I don't know how to open this. There we go. Oh, it calls for 120 grams of bacon, which is like seven servings. I'm trying to see what this is. This has 18 servings that are about 20 grams each. Hmm. I didn't really do the math here. I'm just gonna use all of it. I'm gonna cut it in chunks so it's faster. Do not judge my cutting skills. I'm just gonna cut it like this. Oh, sh I probably should have cut these in half like the long way first. Too late. No. Too late now. I feel like I should have gotten a bowl. Paper towel. I honestly just don't want to dirty a bowl because I hate doing dishes. So I don't know why I did not think <laughs> I didn't think of this uh, a couple minutes ago, but I'm just gonna weigh out the bacon. For some reason I was thinking I needed to do the math. So I'm gonna zero out this paper towel, because that's what's under the bacon. I don't even know if it's gonna register as anything. Let me get it in the center. Okay, yeah, it's coming in at four, so zero it out. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the bacon on. It's more than 120 grams, shit. It's 180. Okay, let's see, we're almost there. 126, 122. Okay, 120 grams. That's what that looks like. Oh, I should have preheated my pan. I'm gonna put this on like medium and then I might turn it up at the end because it says to make it crispy, but I don't wanna burn it. I gotta wait for this to get hot. So my pan is heated up, I think. So I'm gonna put this, yeah. Put that in there. It's gonna take a couple minutes to cook. I believe that turkey bacon is pre-cooked. Does it say? It says it's cured. It's cooked. It is? Yeah. Okay, it's cooked. It's pre-cooked. So I'm gonna give some of this to my dogs because they would love it. There's probably like salt in this, so I'm not gonna give them a ton. Are you guys hungry? Do you want a little snack? My goodness, it's so tasty. <gasps> it's so tasty. This is Stevie. Say hi, Stevie. And this is Diablo. Say hi, buddy. He really likes bacon, if you can't tell. <laughs> While I was doing that, I was probably burning my bacon. It said to get it crispy. I don't think this is quite crispy. Very impatient. So I am gonna turn it up. I didn't break apart all the bacon first. It's kind of st stuck together. I probably should have done that, ouch. So break your bacon up before you put it in the pan. Break your bacon. <laughs> uh, 
I think I got it. Well, no, that one is still. Ow. Surprise, surprise. The bacon that's cooking is hot. Start by cooking up some diced shortcut bacon, turkey bacon, or beef bacon until nice and crispy, then set it aside. Now cook your eggs on low to medium heat, mixing gently every minute. Doing this will cook them perfectly and make them super fluffy. And once they're cooked, add salt and pepper. For the dough, or I like the salt and pepper while it's cooked. I don't know. <laughs> So my bacon is crispy and you set it aside. Move on to the eggs. So I am going to be doing eight eggs, but if you want it to be a little bit lower calorie, my gosh, this is a big egg. It was like stuck in the carton. If you want it to be lower calorie, you can do six eggs and 150 grams of egg whites. I feel like egg whites get really gross and watery sometimes unless you like burn them. I don't really eat them anymore. Ooh, that was close. Probably speed up through this process. Ouch. Ah, oh, shoot. Bruh. Oh. Oh. <sighs> yes, the culprit. Got it. So now I have cracked my eight eggs and I am whisking them with a fork, because I don't own a whisk. I don't think it needs to be like perfect. I'm just gonna put them in a frying pan. Good enough. I'm using the same pan that I cooked my bacon in. This is not calculated in the macros, but I don't want my eggs to stick. So I am going to put a tiny bit of butter in the pan. Just, ah, oh, I just got butter on my face. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go like this so that they don't stick. There we go, gotta get all the eggs. Here we go. It says to stir these constantly so that they don't burn and so they stay like nice and fluffy. Another trick I think to keep your eggs fluffy is if you put a little bit of milk in them before you put them in the pan and like whisk them together. But I didn't think of that until right now, so too late for me. Also today after I failed uh, my deadlift, I failed 365. If you watched my two videos ago, I think. Yeah, if you watch my video from like two days ago, you'll see me fail it. I decided that I'm going to be done cutting. I cut for like three months or something and I was pretty successful at first. I went from like, I don't know, like 176 or something down to like 163. And then it just really has been like plateauing. I don't know, I'm just kind of over it. My strength isn't going up. I really want to get that deadlift. So I am going to start bulking. I'm going to start like pretty low on my calories and ease into it so I don't put on like a bunch of body fat all at once. I'm also going to try to keep it relatively clean. That doesn't mean like I'm not going to eat like processed foods, but I'm not just going to fill up on junk food. Try to do better with that. In the past, I've just been like, oh, I'm bulking. I can eat muffins every day and do whatever I want, which I feel like is not, not the best, you know? Not everybody can eat like Sam Salik and not get fat. Oh, this says to season it after it's done, but I normally season my eggs like towards the end, but not at the very end. Like so, season to taste. That looks good. Jesus Christ. It looks good. Okay, pepper. Oh, that came out faster than expected. That's what she okay. said. I'm sure that's fine. Ooh, I should probably get a bowl to put these back into. Plain flour, baking powder, yogurt, onion and garlic powder, salt, then mix it until you have a crumbly texture. Flour your hands, knead it, and form it into it. Oh boy. <laughs> Did not realize how much this is. How much work this is gonna be. The eight equal balls, then flatten it as thin as possible. Add some low fat cheese, bacon, egg, and chives. Then use your fingers to pinch the sides towards the middle and seal it. Then flip it over and press. Okay, so for the dough, you need. 400 grams of flour. I zeroed out the bowl and I'm just gonna dump flour in. I have no idea how much that is like in cups. Wow, this is a lot of flour. We're at 200. You use 420 grams of the non-fat Greek yogurt. We're at 404, but it's fine. Yeah, you use 420 grams of the non-fat Greek yogurt, two teaspoons of baking powder. And then also, I did not mention this at the beginning, you need garlic powder and salt to season it.
Uh, we don't have teaspoons. An eighth of a teaspoon is 0.6 grams. But I need two teaspoons, so like 10 grams. Yes, science. Okay, hopefully that's good. This is what the consistency is of the dough now. It's pretty thick and hard to stir. Now I need to oof, use my hands to like make it into a ball and I'm kind of dreading it. Uh, I did wash my hands. Ew. Oh, well, it's not that sticky. Okay, so making it, oh shoot, there's still flour in the bottom. Oh, gross. I am not a fan of this part. Oh, jeez. I feel like this needs more liquid. We're getting there. Okay, this is what we got. It's not perfect. I think probably a little bit less flour <clears throat> would be better, but I followed the instructions. So here we are. You gotta cut it into eight. You are watching a master at work. Next, you gotta roll it into like little balls. <laughs> oh, much easier to work with when it's smaller. And then you're gonna flatten it out. Well, this is what we're working with. They're a little bit stickier when they're smaller. This said. one is way bigger. That's what she said, or he said. Oops, I feel like maybe that's good. Making them all like flat by hand was not, was not cutting it, so I used a uh, can of beans because I don't have a roller. But um, definitely flour your countertop because they get sticky and use like some type of roller. Cheese is next. You're supposed to do 20 grams of cheese per hot pocket, but I am just going to eyeball it. This is um, fat free cheese. So it's 45 calories a serving and it has nine grams of protein and only two carbs. So it's not that bad. Put it in the middle so that you can, cause you're gonna like wrap these. Um, these are not all even. I did not cut them very well, but it's fine. They will still taste pretty much the same. Next. You put your eggs in. Oh, I just flung egg. I'm just like chopping up my eggs a little bit. Gotta get all the eggs so you don't lose out on any gains. Okay, now time for bacon. It also says you can do chives, but I don't have chives. Oh shit, I'm gonna run out of bacon. That was all the bacon. And now you pinch them shut. This is going to be interesting. Uh-oh, really gotta shove it in there, I guess. That's what she said. <laughs> Just pinch it together. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, it's a little thin right there. I think the pinching technique is what works the best. Like pinch the dough together. Five to six minutes, okay. I don't see a bigger one. So this is what we ended up with. They're not beautiful, but I think that, I think that it'll work. I really just like had to pinch the dough together on the top to get them to stay. So I got my pan over here between medium and low. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on it again, just so these don't like stick. It's a non-stick pan, but still. Four at a time. I'm gonna cook the, the bad side first. Oh, and I'm also gonna try to do the biggest ones all together so that they cook evenly, but they're not really the same size. You put a cover on it, let it cook for five to six minutes on each side. I didn't preheat my pan enough, so I kind of turned it up to like a little bit above medium for the first side, but they got like a little bit dark and started to smell a little bit like they were gonna burn. So I turned it back down to almost on low uh, for the second side, but it looks like they're cooking pretty well. I cooked the first four. Okay, yeah, the other side's a little bit lighter because I turned it down. They look good. Well, ow, Breath. okay, it's hot. Breath. Breath. Okay, got it, <laughs> got it. Looks pretty good, I think. They're pretty cooked all the way through. Cheese is all melted, you can see in there. Nice. Okay, so several minutes later, because I am a little baby with hot food, I'm gonna go for a taste test. Uh, in the video, I think he dips it in like hot sauce or something, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna raw dog it. Mm. 
It's pretty good. I feel like the dough is very good. It doesn't taste like it's like yogurt. You can't tell. The only thing I would say is I want more bacon in it. Dusters of bacon. Um, there's a good amount of egg. I would probably do more bacon and more cheese, but it's honestly pretty good. It's not bad. For like a convenient meal prep, it's a little bit of a hassle to make because the dough. I would give it like a six and a half out of 10 as far as meal prep. Taste is a seven and a half. It's handheld, so that's good. And I feel like you could probably freeze these and then just like pop them in the microwave in the morning. So it is convenient after you meal prep them. So that's, that's good. And they're good. They're easy to get down, especially if you're trying to get calories in. Okay, so I continue to eat and I take it back. I would give this like a 8.5 probably, especially if you added more bacon and cheese, it would honestly be like a, a 9.5. The dough was like really good. It doesn't taste healthy at all. Okay, so I almost forgot the macros on these. Calories, 420-ish. I think it was like 424. And protein is 28 grams. For a whole like meal, it's not bad. It's not necessarily like a super high protein. I give the macros like a, I guess a seven out of 10 again, because I'm gonna eat two of them, like 800 calories, almost 60 grams of protein. That's not too bad for a meal, unless you're like trying to cut. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you like this type of video and if you have any anabolic recipes that you like so I can try them. Thanks for watching. Did I do it?